10 Serial Killers That Were Never Caught People find the heinousness of serial killers' crimes to be fascinating. Although it makes us shiver with horror, there is something about it that intrigues us nonetheless. When a serial killer has been caught more often, it hurts considerably more. There is always the possibility that they will attack once more and carry out their murderous rampage. Here are 10 of the most frightening serial killers that were never caught. 10. Jack the Ripper Jack the Ripper is one of the most well-known serial killers who evaded capture. His murderous rampage is credited with starting the serial killer trend. In 1888, he plagued London's East End and killed at least five prostitutes. Each victim had their throats slit, and the murderer frequently dismembered them, three ladies had their organs surgically removed. This gave rise to the hypothesis that Jack the Ripper, as the media dubbed him, may have worked in medicine. According to reports, Jack the Ripper boasted about his killings in a number of letters to Scotland Yard. One of the most well-known, the From Hell letter, included a human kidney as evidence that Jack the Ripper was the murderer in question. 9. The Alphabet Killer One of them was the Rochester, New York, murderer of three young girls. Serial killers thrived in the 1970s, and there were a lot of spooky people who committed crimes that have never been solved. Each of the 10 to 11-year-old victims had experienced sexual abuse prior to being strangled to death. Because of the names of the victims, the name Alphabet Killer has remained. Michelle Mienza, Wanda Walkowitz, and Carmen Colon all had names that began with the same letter for both their first and last names. The Alphabet murders have been the subject of numerous theories. Despite the fact that the three fatalities were connected, the authorities thought Carmen Colon might have been murdered with her uncle Miguel Colon the leading suspect. He ultimately left the country and went back to Puerto Rico since he had no other explanation. Despite his admission of guilt, the case against him was unconvincing. The garage rapist, who committed suicide after being surrounded by police, was one of three leading suspects in the other two killings, but DNA tests proved they were all free men. 8. Charlie Chopoff in the early 1970s, a child killer went by this name. Three African-American children and one Puerto Rican youngster were killed in Manhattan by the mysterious serial killer. The little boys who were all mutilated had their private parts were all victims. Numerous people in the neighborhood were terrified as a result of this tragic spate of homicides and afraid that their child would be the next victim. The main suspect in this string of homicides was Erno Soto. Around the time of the murders, the mentally challenged Soto was detained for the attempted kidnapping of a child. He wasn't charged because there wasn't enough proof, but following his arrest, there were no more murders, and authorities were very positive he was the killer. 7. The Zodiac Killer The Zodiac's terror reign lasted from December 1968 to October 1969. There have been five confirmed killings that have targeted couples. The Zodiac was allegedly involved in several more incidents and claimed to have mumbled 37 people. Numerous suspicions were put up, but only Arthur Lee Allen, a convicted sex offender, was formally named as a suspect by police. Allen made his identity known, but no murder charges were ever brought against him. The Zodiac Killer's final letter was dated January 29, 1974, and it was signed, ME equals 37, SFPD equals 0. The Zodiac Killer case is still unresolved and is expected to do so for many more years. 6. Oakland County Child Killer At least four children were killed by this unethical person between 1976 and 1977. Before being killed, the kids were kept as prisoners. Mark Stebbins, 12, Jill Robinson, 12, Christine Mihalik, 10, and Timothy King, 11, were all killed by the babysitter killer also known as the Oakland County Child Killer, over a two-year period. Before their remains were found, the victims were held captive for a period of time ranging from 4 to 19 days. Strangely, before the murderer left them for someone to find, each had been bathed and had their clothes laundered. Police had a lot of leads and suspects, but no one was ever formally accused of the killings. 5. The Doodler Due to their propensity for sketching their victims before executing them, this serial killer earned the moniker. In San Francisco between 1974 and 1975, 
The doodler is thought to have killed up to 16 persons and assaulted a further three. The doodler preyed on the gay community, luring his victims to remote areas. Here, he would have sexual relations with them before fatally stabbing them. Despite having a suspect, the authorities were unable to bring the three survivors to justice because they refused to come forward. The three were reluctant to speak out because there was still a lot of prejudice against the LGBTQIA community at the time. 4. The Phantom Killer The Texarkana Moonlight Murders took place in 1946 over a period of 10 weeks. This murderer, known as the Phantom Killer, preyed on couples and went on a murdering rampage, leaving five victims in their wake. They committed their acts while brandishing both a handgun and a rifle. In the Texas city of Texarkana, the killing sparked hysteria. Police patrolled the streets while residents remained inside their homes heavily armed. Even some vigilante organizations have tried to track down the murderer. More than 400 individuals were detained while the inquiry was ongoing, but no one was found guilty. Yaul Swinney, 29, a suspect in a car theft, was the main suspect. His wife Peggy repeatedly claimed that her husband was responsible for the killings, but she was hardly a reliable source of information because she frequently changed her tale and quickly reneged on significant portions of it. 3. Long Island Serial Killer Over a period of 20 years, this serial killer is suspected of murdering between 10 to 16 people. The Gilgo Four were identified as the four mutilated bodies that were found in and around the coastal hamlet of Gilgo after Shannon Gilbert went missing. Four months later, six more bodies were quickly discovered. All of the bodies were thought to be sex workers and were all female. The Long Island serial killer may have killed several more people, although the most recent remains were only found in 2020. Police consider the assassin to be a white person in his 20s to 40s who is familiar with police protocol. Numerous important suspects have been identified in the investigation, including convicted serial killer Joel Rifkin but no one has been found guilty as of yet. 2. Cleveland Torso Murderer The Cleveland Torso Murderer terrorized Cleveland citizens for four years when he was active in the 1930s. At least 12 people are believed to have died as a result of the mystery killer. This serial killer, as the name implies, dismembered his victims. He buried the victims in the underprivileged Kingsbury Run neighborhood, which was riddled with drug use, prostitution, and homelessness. The deaths received enough attention that Elliot Ness, the man in charge of apprehending Al Capone, took the lead in the investigation. Although there were many hypotheses and potential suspects, no one was ever formally accused of the murders. 1. Freeway Phantom The Freeway Phantom committed his horrifying acts for nearly a year. His method of operation involved robbing and strangling young youths before placing their remains by the side of highways. Six young women were killed by the assassin, who frequently stole their shoes, which the police believed to be a trophy. In addition to taunting them, the freeway phantom left a message on the body of his fifth victim mocking the police. Additionally, he forced his third victim to call home. Police questioned and detained several individuals, as in many of these incidents, but no one was ever charged.